Whoa, is that an old Torino station wagon? I must be in the right place. So today I'm back in the beautiful country outside of Memphis, Tennessee to check out an interesting idea for our next big build. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. How are you? Oh, how are you doing? Hey, doing good. Good to meet you. Mary. <laughs> hey, Mary. <laughs> nice to meet you. So you know what I came to see? Where are you hiding it? In the ballroom. You see, Aaron and I have been throwing some pretty complicated stuff at the monkeys for the past couple of builds. Now, the results are awesome, but the long hours almost killed them. And nobody likes a dead monkey. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to throw something fun and maybe a little unexpected at the guys, you know, give them a little mental break? Well, you're gonna this love this thing, then. This is different, for sure. Then I got wind that these nice folks were looking to unload this. It was built 25 years ago in Arkansas. <laughs> 67 Camaro, four-wheel drive. That's as crazy it was in the pictures. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> That's right. He's got a 67 Camaro 4x4. Now, I know they didn't make those, so don't freak out. It's a 1980s K5 Blazer chassis. It's had a 67 Camaro crammed on it about 25 or 30 years ago. Now, is it normal for somebody to put a, a Camaro body, especially a 67 Camaro body, on top of a K5 Blazer? In some parts of the world, yes, it's highly normal. America's car freaks have been letting their imaginations run wild pretty much since the beginning. If they could dream it, they'd build it. So no surprise when four-wheel drive technology became available, Hot Rodders took their creativity to new heights and created a kind of southern mash you can't drink. It was a uh, 327 car. They just put a big block 454 in it. So they just set it up there. Set it up there. It is funny. Yeah. <laughs> they even put in a pop-top sunroof. So I'm checking out the car. I'm looking at how it was constructed. Well, they just set the body right on there. No big deal. Very cool. From what I understand, typically melding muscle car and 4x4, four four, it's usually pretty much a hack job. So how'd you get it? Guy told me about the car. Wasn't far in Arkansas. I figured, hey, cool old car. Why not? You're just looking to flip it, right? Yep. So it runs, drives? It does run. It does run and drive. You want to take a spin? Why not? It is funny. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was looking for something a little bit off the beaten path. This is definitely it. And it goes off the beaten path. Where can I go? Anywhere? Anywhere, yeah. It's got some clanking noise. It's a little rough, but it's doing what it's supposed to do. Where's the wet stuff? Yeah, might be muddy, real muddy right there. Woo! <laughs> Uh-oh, oh, we're blowing yeah. smoke. Oh, <laughs> uh, that might be off she wrote. Woo! Might be a transmission hose or something. Yeah, or something. <laughs> Richard ran it a little hard out there. I think a transmission line blew or something, but... He it, had fun. It, he had fun, and it's repairable. <laughs> what a trip, dude. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That's fun. Well, it's all right. It could use a little help. Yep. So how much is this $5,000 Camaro? More than $5,000. Uh, $12,000. <laughs> I mean, it's cool and all, but it's, it's not very sellable. He says he wants 12 grand for it. Is it worth that? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I don't know. To figure out a good price point on a car, there needs to be a lot of them on the market. But a 67 4x4 Camaro, those are rarer than hen's teeth. I don't know, maybe 7,500? Couldn't do that. Jeez. Come on, man. The only reason I even want this car is so the monkeys can have a little bit of fun with this whole, uh, you know, um, well, I don't know, backwoods ingenuity. But I still want to sell it eventually, and I'd like to make some money on it. It's going to need tires. It's going to need a lot of stuff. How about 10? Oh, man. I mean, I just want it because it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be nice, but I'm not sure how much nice should cost. Price of fun, man. Yep, yep. So here's the deal. Is it the best 4x4 out there? No. Is it the coolest Camaro out there? No. Is it the best mix of those two I've seen in a long time? Most definitely. I'm going to do it. 10 grand, I'll take it. 10 grand it is. Ten grand. Cool, man. All right. Awesome. Well, you know, cash talks. I think that's all I brought. There you go. Settled at ten grand. I don't think that's a bad deal. I think it'll be pretty fun to have around the shop. Let's go do some paperwork. Give me a title and get me back to Dallas. You know, when I was a kid, I used to dream about crazy cool cars like this. So I can't wait to get it into the garage and let the fun begin. I got to say, so far, this being nice experiment, it's not too bad. Oh, my God. Wow. What is that? I'm out of words. What, what the, the hell? hell? Woo! Ta-da! Oh, boy. You've Get done you it some this of that. Time. It actually came from uh, Tennessee. Mm. Take it back. 
Yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? 67 Camaro on a 4x4 K5 chassis? Somebody went to a Mad Max movie and they went car shopping. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Woo! These are not the happy faces I was anticipating. Seriously, though, how come you guys can't get into this? Well, it's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's different. You know, that's something. accurate. Yeah, it is that. We, we love a good joke. Well, now we're going to build it, so that's the joke. Oh, uh, no. And you're going to have a good time doing it. Can't we just jazz it up a little bit and make it something fun? A Camaro on a yeah. laser chassis. 67 Camaro. Come on. It would look right at home in Coy's yard. I'm not disagreeing with you. <laughs> Y'all check it out. It's got a 454. It did run until I broke it. Is there moonshine in the trunk, too? What do I think about the Camaro? If it was this big and I could play with it in the sandbox, it'd be great. It actually would be cool then. Hey, you. Man, something must have died in there. Hey, turn the steering wheel on. That, that looks funny. That looks like that's not supposed uh, to be there. Yeah. Everything from here down is wrong. I'm not, I'm not sure that everything from there up is right either. <laughs> Seriously, you rode in this thing, Richard? You're a braver man than me. Jeez. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope you're not in it too deep. 10,000 bucks. Eh. Well, God. that's not too bad. I could get yeah, 65, 75, yeah, I mean, for the honestly, body. Yeah, the yeah. body. It's but that's not the point. Expensive. I'm just saying. Why can't we just have some fun, build a little bit more modern version of this, clean it up, beef up the suspension, clean the interior, throw a roof rack on it, and somebody will have to have it for 20 grand. Well, your first $30 going to mullet wigs for all of us to wear while we're working <laughs> yeah, on it. Absolutely. I think that's enough. I got news for these guys. I wanted them to have fun with this build, and they're going to have fun with this build, whether they like it or not. All right, well, here's the deal. This is what I want you guys to do next. I don't want to spend more than 10 grand on it because it, it's only going to bring 20 to 30. I'm done with my part. See y'all later. Oh, and you better do a good job because I'm taking you all out off-road when it's done and you're going whether you want to or not because that's a nice thing to do, you fuckers. Wow. It's disappointing. Very. So I'm saying in some part of the world, this is a thing. Yeah, apparently ours. Well, yeehaw. I guess let's get it off. So it appears Richard has tapped into a hitherto unknown vein of generosity and gifted my crew with a build design to give them a nice change of pace. What a piece of shit. Briggs! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yes. Since we can't give it back, there's no direction to go but forward. So how do you knock the crazy off a 67 Camaro body grafted onto a K5 blazer frame? Well, first you. Well, hell, I don't even know. I mean, we definitely got to do something about those squatty, ugly, dry-rotted tires.